For this activity, you will need a blue and red string, red drinking straw or paper, yellow felt, beige felt, white gauze, cardboard tubing, and tape or glue. The activity objectives are understand the basic structure and function of bone and be able to identify different bone parts. Now let's dive right into the activity. First, put both red and blue string inside the straw or a rolled red paper to represent blood vessels, the tubes where our blood flows through. This will represent the red marrow surrounding the blood vessels. Red marrow is where more blood cells are made. Next, wrap the straw in the yellow felt. The yellow felt will be the yellow marrow around the red marrow. In the yellow marrow, nutrients and fatty cells are stored. Now take the white gauze, fold it in half, and wrap it around the yellow marrow. The white gauze will be our spongy bone. The spongy bone is porous, which means it has a lot of holes where minerals are stored and exchanged. Outside of the spongy bones comes the compact bone, which is represented as the hard brown cardboard tube. What do you think the function of the compact bone is? You may have guessed it. It's hard, which means it's there for both protection and support. Finally, the beige felt comes around the compact bone. You may glue this in a tight seal in your bone mount. This beige felt is the periosteum. The periosteum is for growth and repair of the bone, and this is also where the bone attaches to muscles and other structures like ligaments and tendons. To recap, Bone is made up of multiple different layers. There are blood vessels, red marrow, then yellow marrow, spongy bone, compact bone, and finally the periosteum. With your own bone model that you just made yourself, try to identify and explain what each part does. See you next time.